We all know bar lines in music separate the music into small sections called bars. But they can, they can do different things as well. They can enhance the music's playback or they can enhance the music's look on the page as well. And there are various different types of bar lines that Sibelius has available to it. And we're going to have a look at some of those now. Certainly the most common ones. You access bar lines from the Notations tab. So we're going to go there. And there's the bar lines gallery there. Before we look at this, let me just play this piece to you. That all sounds very nice, very jaunty, but listening to it, the structure isn't right. There's something just not quite right about it. And what's wrong is that bars 5 to 12 should be played twice. So let's do that using bar lines. I'm going to select the end, the, the beginning of bar 5 or the end of bar 4. So I'm, I'm going to click on that bar line, go up to my bar lines gallery, and I'm going to click the start repeat bar line, and it adds it in the correct place after the clef and after the key, the key signature in bar 5. I have to tell it now where that repeat ends because if I don't it would play the entire piece and then go back to that point. But I just want these these 8 bars here. So I'm going to go to the end of bar 12, click on the bar line, click on there and make it an end repeat. Those 8 bars are now played twice. Let me show you that. So we now have a 4 bar intro and a 16 bar main tune. Let me play it to you. So you can see that makes an awful lot more sense musically. Carry on playing it though. So we're now back into the first section again, aren't we? So at that point where the music goes back into the first, um, into the main tune, which is here, we should be able to indicate that we have a new section. And we do that by using a double bar line. So again, we select the bar line, go to the bar lines gallery, and select double. We now get a double bar line there. That's the way that we indicate that we're starting a new section of music. At the very end of the piece, you would expect there to be a final bar line. Now I could, if I want, select that bar line, go up to the gallery and pick the final one and put that there. However, I still have all these extra empty bars at the end. So what I could do, let me just delete that. So I'm back, back to a normal bar line. I can select all the empty bars. So I would click on the first one, shift click, the last one, and then if I control delete, hold down the control key and press delete, do I want to delete them all together? Yes, I do. And that means that this is now my last bar and I'm given a final bar line automatically. The last bar in Sibelius always has a final bar line. So in just a few steps, I can make my piece of music look and sound exactly how I want it using bar lines.